to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. There is no limit to how far we can go in Christ, but you are only a blessing not just when men come, but when they live with joy. Jesus said, do not leave them to go hungry. Who else can feed them? They said, no, 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 we cannot afford this. And they brought five loaves and two fish, turned it and fed all of them. Simon Bajona, do you love me more than this? Prove that you love me by feeding my sheep and feeding my lamb. By the time weak people come to your church and one month, just one month under your mentorship, the kind and the quality of spiritual information that you communicate backed up by the supernatural power of the Holy Spirit they return with strange testimonies a family that no door has opened for for 15 years they meander into your church just on a week a midweek service just five minutes prayer they return back and all those begin to open as though they were programmed they will say like that woman come see a man come see a man let me tell you this do not downplay the power of personal testimony it's one thing to bring an arbitrary testifier that nobody knows when a popular madman in Port Harcourt comes under the influence of the power of God fire falls from heaven during your crusade ground and that person becomes your chief usher everybody knew him when he was lying down now he's the chief usher how dare the devil say the power of God is not in your assembly? Listen to me. Believers, men and women of God, with all due respect, I came to challenge you tonight. There is more that we need to do across the south-south, across Port Harcourt here. There is so much we need to upgrade to a higher level of power and fire. There are principalities. The arsenals of darkness continue to group themselves to see that they discredit the power of God. God is saying where are the people that must arise that every altar by Sunday is blazing with fire regardless the denomination these demons as they are leaving this assembly they want to land on this church fire is sending them again there is an avalanche of salvation people on the streets breaking down and wondering what is wrong you just shook hands with a man of God you met at the marketplace and just that handshake destroyed 10 years captivity and then God leads you to someone you pray for him the Lord bless you and a contract that has been tied for 10 years 15 years all of the monies is released he will be too grateful to forget you can I tell you how funding comes from ministry listen there's no point hiding it it's, it's not some superstitious things the blessing of the Lord comes from those who have been impacted by that grace don't look for wealthy people make them through the grace of God upon your life <laughs> That someone comes and in two weeks, whilst he's loving the Lord, whilst he's knowing the Lord, a promotion that is due 10 years for some tribal sentiments and the fire that comes from your altar burns that chaff into pieces. That man is lifted and promoted. The man will vow and say, as you move, I move with you. Whatever is your project, just let me know. Can I tell you this? everybody on earth including those who have been greedy to you they are givers they only have not considered you to be worth their giving the same person who will refuse to give you money and fund your ministry will come back to a man of god and say sir can i have the privilege of giving you 100 million for the church project he was not greedy you are just not on fire enough to be worth his money
I know we've spent time. Please, can I have the oil? Something is about to come upon your life tonight. Thank you, sir. This is cooking oil. You can use it to fry egg. You can use it to fry yam. There is no power in this thing on its own. Oil does not anoint. Oil only anoints when it is anointed. There's no point idolizing it. This is ordinary oil. Women use this to cook, use this to do all kinds of things. But hear me, people of God. I do not stand here tonight as one who claims to be sufficient in myself. But I want to tell you something. I have tasted of the grace of God. I know what God can do with men. Many of you have come here with hearts opened. There are graces that are coming tonight. The Bible says grace and peace be multiplied. Please listen to me. Some of you have fasted and you have prayed. And you have said, God, I know there has to be more to you. I'm a prophet, but this thing is, is, as, if my, is as if my office is a reproach to me. Everything you say is a lie. Your name is John. No, I'm Ezekiel. You have two children. No, I don't even have any children. And you stand there and God truly called you. What of those who are here who are bleeding? Members come, they receive and they leave. Have you seen that kind of thing? They come, you pray for them, you fast and then they leave. When they have the breakthrough, they stand up and go somewhere else. Paul says, and God is able to make all grace abound towards you this man standing before you is a product of many anointings this anointing is like a relay we have also received it from those who went ahead of us one time i had the honor and the privilege of being in daddy joe's prayer room alone and when I lay down there on the ground, I said, oh God, the only thing I'm asking is the covenant of answered prayer that you have with this man. Let it come upon my life. I left there knowing, knowing that the lives of people will begin to change. Let me tell you this. When you tell people, God bless you, they shout, amen. They are watching to see. If nothing happens, their amen will suddenly become a mockery to you because they themselves know that nothing will happen. Can I tell you this? Except God is not God. But there is no one sitting under the sound of my voice who will return back to ordinary ministry again. Believe me. There will be such a baptism of fire in this place this is what i want you to do i'm going to pray on this oil please listen including those outside so we make it fast i will lay my hands on this oil and pray and they'll just pass it around just dip your hands you i'm not even well i don't know how you're going to do it but let's just okay fine please i will pray and then we'll put it the leaders you don't have to just be patient they will get to you just place it on your head place it on your hand fire in tongues place it on your head on your hands lord i'm leaving this realm financially spiritually some of you you have seen yourself walk in signs and in wonders but not to the degree that brings glory to the name of the lord one headache per year will not do much for the kingdom can i tell you this some of you after this impartation you need to run back to your families and say i've come with a new anointing the challenge that did not give way yesterday saul is not the weak man looking for his father's sheep again he has met with samuel the bible says he returned and they said he's saul also one of the prophets do not sit down thinking we are just acting with the childlike faith of a minister i want you to believe this and you will watch the wonder working power of the anointing of the holy spirit are you ready to pray in one minute lord my life is changing let fire come upon my destiny please pray please pray please pray please pray, please pray. let's be serious 
Shagata kate barakata barusiata. Shkata branda kata branda ketosko to poroto ko shopreti katiya. Shkate branda skato balakata branda kefarya. Are you praying? Lift up your ministry before the Lord. It's time for a new dimension. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. We anoint this in the name of Jesus. We release it as an instrument of signs and wonders. We release it as an instrument of restoration. We release this oil as a weapon of judgment. That everything sitting on your destiny that is not of God, as this oil comes on you in the name of Jesus Christ, the same way there was judgment in Egypt, there must be judgment this night in the camp of the enemy. Please go ahead, sir. Everyone, please pray. Just pray in the spirit. Outside, pray in the spirit. Following online, you have a bottle of oil, you can bring it out and just connect by faith. Are you praying? Overseers, pray. Presidents, pray. Evangelists, pray. Shkatabarakatos. Some of you are leaders of prayer groups. Pray. You are about to contact fire for the next level. Shadabakata branda kete boskata balakata. Entele kete pratos kete barakatosh. Shaprata kete bakata branda katos kata kete. And the Brekatoskia. Oh, it's a new season. Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old, nor consider the shame of old, nor consider the reproach of old. Behold, I do a new thing. Behold, I do a new thing. Behold, I do a new thing by the power of the Holy Ghost. Behold, I do a new thing. Pray, please pray. For you are glorious and worthy to be praised. You are the Lamb upon the throne. And none to our voice and praise you are the lamb upon the throne keep praying for you are glorious and worthy to be praised you are the lamb upon Pray. Salada kata pranda kate pa katusia talakata fresca dia. Embreke katushka li brende keske bara susia tata. It's a new season of signs of wonders. Supernatural worship ministry. Supernatural music ministry. Supernatural evangelism. Supernatural apostolic ministry. Que 
Balakata Prandega de Brosco de Valahasia. He Balata Barandas Cadebaratusia Secate Baladaba. There are shouts of adoration. I see men from every nation lift their voice to make your glory known. Sing it, holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. The saints and the angels bow. The redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Don't be tired. Don't be tired. This will be your certain day tonight. Begin to prophesy to your ministry a new level in the name of Jesus. A new level of salvation. A new level of transformation. A new level of kingdom impact. Pray for your family, for your husband, for your wife, for your children. Pray for the South South. Pray for Portacot. Coming with fire, renewed fire. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now listen, 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 we're not done. I want to pray for you. But I want to do something prophetic right now. Pastor Larry, please can I have six other pastors with you inclusive just to come and stand here with me, anyone at all you. We're going to stand prophetically representing the body of Christ over Portacot and over the South South. Listen. The days of disunity and fighting, backbiting, tearing down one another, we have to declare that those days come to an end. Sir, please. Listen to me. Please look up, everyone. Can I tell you this? Unity does not mean uniformity. In truth, I admit that there are issues with the body of Christ. Is not new it is still the body of Christ if a man's wife is sick does she stop being his wife are we together listen to me for a long time it looks like this sense of unity it is difficult to attain it why because we bring all kinds of prejudices I am anointed I have more revelation I have more money I have more members you may be right but you will still not win in the body you don't win just because you are right god connected us to ourselves and can i tell you this it may look like we're taking one step after another but by the privilege of god's grace where our fathers have done their best we are not the ones who will come and fail a generation we have to learn to look listen the key to unity is an understanding of mutual honor a communication of mutual honor I cannot have unity I can't show this man we cannot be united when I'm there talking about him tearing him down downplaying the grace of God upon his life just because God has helped me in a measure does not mean we use our gifts and that which God has given us to tear down 
he must acknowledge what God has done in my life and not frown at it don't see results and act as if it's not result you are seeing there's nothing to be ashamed of however if people clap for you for the results be wise enough to know that it's not ordinarily human for people to just bend over backwards to acknowledge you you must be wise enough to reciprocate it oh you are the great man of God they are talking about it's an honor sir I also appreciate and honor God's grace upon your life you see the moment we introduce mutual respect because some of you now respectfully speaking have been mentored to look down on certain men of God certain denominations the people that mentored you may not be wrong but they are inaccurate that theology never wins there is a level of power that the body of Christ must present that no single man can present the best of us is an effective member of the body are we together and so I'm asking these great servants of God representing the body of Christ we want to stand in unity and pray and say father we are tired of this unity yes it is true that some of us have issues and God is helping it is true that some of us have not seen the light to certain degrees but it's too small a reason to cause a division don't go around mentoring people to trivialize a man of God rejoicing when evil happens you are raising those same people who will fight you tomorrow with the same mentality you are giving them we must learn to celebrate one another I pray that a time will come in Port Harcourt where a man of God is organizing a crusade and even if it's not your ministry you can pay for 100 buses and say let souls be saved just tell him a man of God he doesn't need to know me where someone will come and use his resources and complete the building of a church for another ministry and just bless them and not demand anything in return it is for this cause he gave apostles and prophets and evangelists listen let's not allow our ego and our selfishness punish our children even if we do not love ourselves let's think of the precious gifts there are people watching our lives in the next 10 years in the next 20 years in the next 30 years when the fathers that we see now have joined the cloud of witnesses if if christ tarries it will still be us when we're coming up we insulted the fathers we abuse them now the baton is in our hands and see how we are messing up doing the same thing we were once insulting listen our gifts must be garnished with self-control and maturity and order and honor for the body you dishonor the body there is a punishment the bible says for this cause many are weak for this cause many are do sleep they are sick they are weak and they do sleep where if someone comes to gossip about a man of God and his church you tell him no 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 if you are not here just to pray for the person walk out of my house my house will not be a habitation of hatred and gossip now the people you are mentoring will watch you from a distance wow they see the purity of what teaching and how you are living are we together I can tell you this before Christ comes for as long as he gives us the grace and the privilege for life we will use the grace the influence and all it takes to say body of Christ we are not calling you to do the same thing but we are calling you to present to the world a matured bride we must grow out of the childishness of fighting one another and mentoring people to antagonize people no if you don't like the prophetic that's all right but don't insult it and tear it down if you don't like the teaching ministry that's all right but don't insult it and tear it down don't say that man only teaching 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 no power let it not come from you if you think he needs power pray for him buy the books that relate to power and give him as a seed that's a better approach show us the ancient path will you lead us along eternal highway we want to follow the ways of Jesus. We want to enter your rest. Will you show us the ancient paths? Will you lead us along 
sincerely believing he is doing his best intercede and say Lord open their eyes to see greater but don't stand and look down at people no don't tear down men of God don't use your pulpit as a platform there are many many messages to preach don't be envious you hear that God is lifting someone oh may God bless you I'm happy hear that this is happening in the ministry may the Lord honor you, may the Lord keep it if the person looks down on you and says no problem, leave him to his trouble you have done yours please, is it okay, I know that can we hold hands together we are going to pray prophetically body of Christ listen, we are standing here representing the city of Port Harcourt. I know there are fathers across the south, south veterans of the gospel but these are the ones that are available here. This baton was given to us. We should not fail. It does not take perfection to win. It takes maturity. Father, we stand here at this South-South Convention. Here at House on the Rock, Port Harcourt. And I'm holding hands so God with servants, men of God. And we stand as a united body across this city and across this region. Lord, we admit that our levels of transformation may differ. We admit that our levels of accuracy and alignment to spiritual things may differ. We admit that our levels of obedience and compliance to your principles may differ. We agree that the levels of grace that we operate on differ. But Lord, we choose by understanding and maturity to love one another to serve one another to help one another to pray for one another to cry with one another to stand with one another to comfort one another in the name of Jesus we will never rejoice at the downfall of one another we stand as a united bride even though wounded we are still your bride and Lord, we lift up this voice. We pray in the name of Jesus. Over Potakot, your kingdom come. Over Potakot, a fresh reign of revival. In the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for every church, every assembly, ever, ever, every evangelistic outfit, every prophetic platform, every prayer group. We decree and declare fresh fire on your altar. Those who have made mistakes, those who have derailed on the path of righteousness and the gospel, we pray mercy over their lives, that by the privilege of God's grace, He will help them to be restored. Those who are walking accurately, we pray for the grace for continuity and the grace to finish strong. We pray for the younger ministers. May we not mentor you wrongly. In the name of Jesus, where we have made mistakes, we, are, we release grace upon you. To move greater and more accurate than we have walked in the same way the fathers showed us their scars to help us rise more accurately in the name of Jesus may you climb upon our scars and do ministry more efficiently we decree and declare that every assembly becomes a place of salvation we decree and declare that every assembly becomes a place of transformation. We decree and declare that every assembly becomes a place of miracles, signs and wonders. We declare that every assembly becomes a place for nation building. Every assembly becomes a house of prayer. I pray, oh God, that you will raise mighty men and women from our assemblies. Satan, we speak to you over this region. You have failed. In the name of Jesus. The edge that you've had over the church as a result of disunity, as a result of divide, we close that door by the blood of the Lamb. As a united church, the bride of Christ, we stand and we declare 
the victory that has been given to us in Christ, we establish it upon this land. Port Harcourt, you are God's own state. South, South, you are God's own region. And in the name of Jesus, we declare that every tree that has not been planted by God, we stand in unity right now over families, over businesses, over careers. We uproot it in the name of Jesus. Let there be love among pastors. Some of you after tonight, after a long time, you may want to send a text to a man of God here and say, I know that we've had issues, but I love you. I love you sincerely. I love you sincerely. It was an issue of land, but I still love you. It's over. Let's push it. We have children who are learning from us. It is only the living that can praise God. Can I tell you this? Very soon Jesus is coming. I assure you and I preach it to you afresh. When he comes, it's the same heaven we're all going to. Therefore, Lord, we declare, let the unity of the church in Port Harcourt never be broken again. And anyone who steps into this city to disunite the body, we close the borders of this city towards them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every assembly is flourishing with membership, flourishing with prosperity, flourishing with abundance of revelation, flourishing with character, flourishing with godliness. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray that you honor every man and woman of God in this city. They that labor in word and in doctrine. Many of them have sacrificed their families. They have sacrificed time with their children. We pray for the workers also. Because we are men of God, but we don't do everything by ourselves. Lord, we pray for our precious workers. These are people who before we wake up, they are in church. And after we are gone, they are still left behind. We pray that you will bless them. We do not take them for granted. We ask for mercy where we have trivialized them. We declare that they are truly important and we do not look down on them. The church is growing in this region. We pray this in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. Thank you, sirs. God bless you. Let's celebrate Jesus for what he's doing in this land. Now lift your hands. Let me speak over you. We're wrapping up. In the name that is above all names, I declare the grace that you need for the next season of your life. I stretch my hands upon you and I pray may that grace come upon your life now. Hear me? Every limitation impeding the growth of your church, your prayer group, your evangelistic platform, your family, your business, I stand and call upon the God of my covenant. In the name of Jesus, we dethrone those forces. We dethrone those forces. In the name of Jesus Christ, anyone here appointed unto death, we declare, oh grave, where is your victory? And oh death, where is your sting? I speak long life and prosperity to you. Every man of God here currently going through a building project. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Bible says the hand of Zerubbabel, that began this work we release a finisher's anointing on your project in the name of Jesus Christ where men have mocked your God and say where is the evidence of serving God I place something upon your life today go and walk signs and wonders open doors in the name of Jesus and let me pray for you whatever has killed your prayer life whatever has killed your appetite and your passion for spiritual things that this was not how you started eventually you became distracted i pray for you tonight fire from heaven may it land upon your life prayer fire word study fire worship fire in the name of jesus christ and as you depart from this place tonight in the name of Jesus on your way to your homes and your stations meet with signs and wonders meet with testimonies tomorrow 
here in this city may every altar catch fire in the name of Jesus Christ thank you father wave your hands to Jesus and give him praise dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development lord grant me the discipline